Hi everyone, so I figured out how to remove the automatic frame cap from V-Sync plus G-Sync when you're using ultra low latency mode or reflex. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So usually when you're running NVIDIA reflex, G-Sync and V-Sync, it causes your games to automatically frame cap. If you're on a 240 hertz monitor, it caps you at 225. Different hertz monitors will have different caps but this is how you remove that. I use RTSS to make sure that it is actually working and this does completely eliminate tearing, so it does trigger G-Sync and V-Sync at the same time, but it does not work on every game. I figure when I put this out there, somebody else could help figure out how to make this work on every single game, but right now you have to check for yourself whether it works. I know it works on Marvel Rivals, I know it works on Halo. I couldn't get it to work on Aim Labs or Delta Force. So what you need is NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'll show you how to test whether it's working as well. And what you need to do is in the top right, show unknown settings from NVIDIA predefined profiles. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set the V-Sync to one slash fourth refresh rate. And don't really worry about this. It's not actually going to be one fourth V-Sync. It's still going to be the G-Sync V-Sync version. This is just to trick the driver. Don't worry about all these random things up here. That's more a thing that I will talk about for Halo. And then you could push control find to get here easily and just type in V-Sync. And then it set V-Sync behavior flags, this one. Go ahead and change the last number here to three. It's not a selectable option, but yeah, you have to set this to three. So if you combine those two things, you do end up getting V-Sync. And for some reason, it basically disables G-Sync, but from the NVIDIA version. So this is why I think it's working on some games and not others. And what you have to do is you need to go to graphic settings. So to get VRR to work again, what you do, go in graphic settings, advanced graphic settings, and you need this variable refresh rate checked on. If this one is checked off, then you end up with real V-Sync. But if you have this checked on, in some games, uh, you'll end up with the G-Sync, V-Sync combo where you just have G-Sync with zero tearing at the bottom and you do not get the frame cap anymore. So on the games that it doesn't work on, what's happening is V-Sync is on, but G-Sync isn't working. There's no variable refresh rate, and that's why it doesn't work. If somebody could figure out how to get VRR to trigger again in the games where it doesn't work, then we could do this for every game probably. But yeah, that's it. VRR on in your graphic settings, V-Sync behavior flags needs to be three at the end, and then V-Sync set to one slash four in profile inspector. So, and then any game where this VRR will actually trigger. We'll have the G-Sync V-Sync combo without the frame cap when you use reflex or ultra low latency. Uh, so to make sure that it is actually working in your game, you're going to need RTSS and you need to turn the on-screen display on for your game and then make sure it's on here as well. And then you're going to go to setup, enable frame color indicator and set it to three or four bars. And then sometimes it won't show up, so you'll click Enable Benchmark Mode. And that will bring up these bars on the left side of your screen while your game is on. The, and the bars should be kind of like gray. If you see some of them turning completely solid white, then it is not working properly. Your G-Sync is not working. Uh, you could also try using your monitor's OSD instead and turn your monitor's frame rate tracker on. And usually those track hertz and not frames, so you'll be able to see if it's not moving at all and your G-Sync isn't working. And those games, I do not know how to fix that for yet, but hopefully we can figure that out once I post this. That is the new trick that I found to remove the frame cap. I think this might be the only video of those settings in the world because I stumbled on that on accident, and it is a weird combination of settings to get to work. But yeah, if anybody wants to try tinkering with it in a game where it doesn't work, so Aim Labs doesn't work, Delta Force doesn't work, I know those two don't, and if you could figure out how to make that work for those two, that'd be awesome. I am going to just mess with random settings trying to re-trigger it to work again someday. But I decided to just put this video out anyway in case I never figure that out, so... Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and come watch me on Twitch sometimes. I'm a game stager on everything. Peace.